What's going on everybody? Almost Counts Collectibles here and in today's video we're going to be going through a large box of items that we recently purchased from a collectible toy store that we stopped into. Uh, they were trying to get rid of a lot of their loose items um, that haven't really been selling that they've had for a while. Uh, they had a pretty good collection of um, Power Rangers stuff but most of their open stuff um, and just like novelty items and like damaged box items and things of that nature, uh, they were really trying to offload and make room for uh, other stuff because it was pretty cluttered in there. So we got a pretty good deal on everything in this box. So we're going to go ahead and get a little bit closer and go through everything that we picked up today. All right, now that we're a little bit closer, let's go ahead and start pulling some of this stuff out and checking out uh, all the stuff that we took off their hands. Now right here on top, they wrapped this up for me just a little bit. Um, but I actually got a sealed uh, space android villain from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Now, I'm not a huge collector of Power Ranger Lost Galaxy items. Um, I have started collecting more than I used to. I used to not be that interested in Lost Galaxy. Uh, I just, I don't know, the, the season just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I mean, I'll still watch it and stuff, but uh, it's kind of what turned me off from Power Rangers. Because, um, you know, once Zordon went away, it just wasn't really the same for me watching it. But I will go back and watch Power Rangers Lost Galaxy every now and then, and I am starting to collect a little bit more of stuff from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. But they had this, and they gave it to me for a really good deal. I'm pretty sure I got this for like uh, $15 is what they charged me for it. Now it does have some, um, it's not a perfect package. It's a little bit warped. Uh, it's a little bit dinged up in the corners. Uh, but all in all, it, it's sealed and uh, it's not in terrible shape. The bubble's in pretty good shape. So I went ahead and picked that up. I don't really have any sealed Power Rangers Lost Galaxy stuff, so I might start actually collecting more of it. But I couldn't pass this up for 15 bucks. I know it was worth more than that. So I got a sealed space android from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. All right, we'll set that aside. Um, I picked this up. Uh, this isn't obviously a Power Ranger item. This is a Mast Rider item. It is the uh, motorcycle for the villain Cyclopter. Uh, I actually don't have one of these even opened. Um, this one's still in the box. Obviously the box is really, really dinged up. They gave it to me really, really cheap. Uh, I'll have to go back and look, but I think I paid it was between, it was just under $100 for everything in this box. Uh, most of the stuff is not in the package in here. Um, and what is, is uh, opened. There's like one or two sealed items. But this is a Cyclopter's motorcycle. And the batteries even still work. It lights up there at the end like that little cannon. Um, really, really cool. So they pretty much uh, gave this to me. All right, let's see what else we got. <clears throat> There's a couple really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show this. So we picked up two costumes. Now this, um, it's for sizes seven to 10, but this is an old uh, White Ranger Halloween costume. Uh, in really, really good shape. Almost looks like it was never uh, even worn. At the end, I might uh, bring the camera out a lot further so we can see it, but uh, just an awesome <laughs> costume from back in the day. I mean, everything is really clean on this. Kind of leads me to believe that maybe it was never even worn, but it comes with the bodysuit, and then it also comes with the belt, but the belt, uh, it's... The fabric is coming apart a little bit and it's leaving a lot of little flakes. Uh, so they said, be careful when I go to open this cause it'll get that stuff all over the place. But the belt is in here with the, uh, the hard plastic White Ranger buckle. And then it also came with the mask. Now the visor needs to be glued back into the mask, but all in all, it's not really cracked or uh, dented or anything like that. It might be just a tiny bit yellowed. I don't know how white it was uh, to begin with, but it is in really, really good shape. Still has the little band right here on it. So we're gonna 
glue the visor back on and pretty much just use this as a uh, display piece. But I thought that was really, really cool. So let me set White Ranger aside and we actually got another costume. We got a red Power Rangers in Space uh, children's Halloween costume. So the helmet is actually still in, I'm pretty sure, I mean, possibly, I don't know, but I think it's in the original plastic that it uh, came in because the helmet looks brand new. It doesn't look like it's ever been touched. So I thought that was really cool, but there's the Red Ranger in Space helmet. And then it also, like the White Ranger, came with the bodysuit. So this is for uh, just a little bit smaller child than the White Ranger. This one could have possibly been worn. I think there's a tiny bit of discoloration right here, but all in all, it's in, it's in really good shape. So I thought that was really cool. So we picked up both of those costumes. All right, let's look at some more other stuff we got here. So uh, this is actually damaged a little bit and uh, I'm pretty sure the bubble, yep, it's separating right here, but this is a brand new vinyl wallet. And I'm pretty sure I had one of these um, when I was a kid. I don't think I still have it because I haven't seen it, but I remember one of these from when I was a kid. So I'm pretty sure I had one. Don't know whatever became of it, but I got a brand new one right here in the package. Had to pick that up. Like I said, I pretty much cleaned them out from all the little odds and ends and opened items that they had. They did have more Power Ranger stuff. Uh, they had some Megazords that had their boxes, but they were open, but they wanted a lot of money for them. And they had some sealed like um, 90s uh, Automorphin, Mighty Morphin figures still in the packages. They wanted like $40 a piece for. So they kept most of their sealed good condition stuff. I took pretty much everything else off their hands, but right here we have a sealed pack. I actually have, I think one or two of these sealed, but um, the Power Rangers playing cards. So I thought those were really cool. Um, I think I paid like 25 cents for it, but a sealed pack of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers playing cards. We got a couple of these little night lights. So little night lights that just plug into the wall, but they had a Red Ranger one. I don't think I had Red Ranger. There's another one in here somewhere. We'll get to it in just a second. Uh, let's see what else we got. So we have a sealed, uh, I actually have one of these. Um, this one's got, there was something somewhere, where is it? Right here. So it looks like somebody cut into it, uh, maybe opening a package with it in there or was gonna open it or something, but it was cut into, but this came with like the trading cards and the cassette tape um, on fins and needles, like the adventures on cassette. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was still in the package. So I grabbed that 3D audio power pack. Uh, right here we have one of these like uh, toiletry um, items. Comes with a little cup. There's a brush in there. I think there's a toothbrush. Uh, what else? A comb, um, little box of tissues. Right here on the back it says what? So we got mini soap, comb, brush, cup, tissues, toothbrush, toothbrush case, and a soap case. So that was pretty cool. Grab that. It's in really, it's in pretty good condition. It's not perfect, but. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, I also grabbed one of these. They wrapped this up for me. But they had an opened Master Rider figure. And this is kind of like the uh, the Automorph Index. Um, I'm gonna be careful with this because I don't want to damage his antennas. But it was like the Automorph Index figure, kind of like the Automorph and Ranger figures. And I actually don't have one of these. I have most of the Master Rider stuff, but not one of these. And it was in really good shape. There's hardly a scratch on it. So I had them throw that in there as well. So I needed that for the collection. So I got a couple of uh, Master Rider items. All right, they had one of these still in the box. Um, I don't know if these were ever taped. 
Uh, looks like a price tag maybe was ripped off of it, but this could potentially have never been opened. It uh, looks like everything's in there, but it was a watch and beeper gift set for the Red Ranger. So it came with like the beeper, the watch. I'm pretty sure that's some sort of little lens cover thing that goes over the watch. Yeah, right there in the picture. Uh, power guard lens protector included. Thought that was pretty neat. Pretty sure we don't have one of these for any of the Rangers. I'm pretty sure they made one for all the Rangers, all the different colors and stuff. I could be wrong on that. Maybe not for every Ranger, but I'll have to look into it. But we have Red Ranger now, if we didn't before. All right, I got one of these, uh, a candy dispenser of uh, Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger here. Collect all five candy dispensers. Uh, came with a box of jelly beans. So there's an old box of jelly beans in there. And right here on the back, I guess you turn it and they uh, come out. So you put them in there and then you turn it and you can get them out of there. If there was any item that was ever released in the 90s, you can pretty much rest assured there was a Power Rangers version of it. Uh, I mean, Power Rangers took the world by storm and they pretty much released a Power Ranger item and everything from plates, uh, shower curtains, uh, night lights, alarm clocks. I mean, pretty much anything that you can imagine. I, they probably made a Power Ranger item of it. So we'll probably never be done collecting Power Ranger stuff because we'll probably always run into something that we don't have. But that's the fun of it. And speaking of some more of those uh, items, so this right here is... Uh, is this a radio as well? I'm pretty sure this is like some sort of, I thought this was a nightlight. Oh, it's a projector, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I'll have to look more into this. Um, there's a lens right here on top. So I think it projects a picture up onto the ceiling. Um, I don't think it's a radio. It kind of looks like it would be a radio, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It's got a picture of the Rangers right there on the front. It looks to be in really good shape. I mean, who knows if it works, but and this is probably the adjuster to make it larger and smaller and focus in and whatnot. But that's pretty cool. Got one of those. Set that down over here. All right, I picked this up. I actually have one of these already. But uh, pretty much, like I said, took all their loose Power Ranger stuff off of them that they were wanting to get rid of for a good price. And this one's in really good shape. It might even be in better shape than the one I have, but it's one of those uh, voice man, like recorder player things. So you can record with a blank tape or you can put a tape in there. You can put your um, on fins and needles adventure tape and you can sit there and listen to it. So it's a pretty cool looking item. All right, what else? They did have a old power blaster that was in pretty decent shape. So I grabbed that and had them throw that in on the lot. I don't know if it works. We'll have to put some batteries in it and test it out, but the blade and everything looked in fairly good shape. I mean, for as old as these things are, I've seen much worse. So we got another power blaster. We got these things. Uh, so I'm going to have to start looking for the whole set of these now, but these are like the bubble bath, um, like statues that were filled with bubble bath, um, stuff. And the blue one is actually like full. That's why he had it in this like Ziploc bag in case it were to leak or something like that. But the pink one's actually been used. It's empty, but the blue one is it's heavy. So it's like full. And then there's, I'm not going to take it out of there just yet. Knowing my luck, it'll drip all over everything or come open, but there's also like a little thing of chapstick in there from Power Rangers. So some more random Power Ranger stuff. We got the bubble bath figures here, blue and pink. We probably have one of those for some reason. I feel like we have one, but all oh, these right here were really cool. Oh, I'm going to have to find a better way to store these because the glass slides all over the place but it's one of those old like uh fair photos that you would win at like one of the little balloon games or something like that but we have the uh the white ranger right here 
and the picture is slid up just a little bit, but it's actually in pretty good shape. Uh, so we had White Ranger and then they had one, let me set this aside. They had White Ranger and then they had one of all the Rangers with White Ranger and Tiger Zord up here in the corner. So I snagged both of those and they're in pretty good shape. There's some little like scratch marks or something on the photo here at the bottom. But for the most part, even the frame itself and the glass and everything was in really good condition. And I really like these old pictures and stuff like that. So we went ahead and grabbed those. All right, moving on. I'm going to grab this just because it's kind of heavy. I didn't want to fall forward. So this is actually um, like a metal tv tray that you would like sit on your lap i guess and like you know put your your tv dinner or your snacks on so it's got the little legs that came out on the back it's got some little spots on it but it should clean right up but like i said they made a power ranger version of just about everything ever from the 90s so here we have a tv tray and this is actually made out of metal so i thought that was really neat i went ahead and grabbed that and picked it up Right here, they had one of these little uh, Rock'em Sock'em robot sets. Uh, the first one they came out with, with Megazord and um, Goldar, was actually much larger. It was like the size of the regular Rock'em Sock'ems. This is like the travel game version, so it's a lot smaller. But uh, it appears to be in good working order. We had White Ranger versus Lord Zed there. Pretty cool. Pretty sure I have one of these still in the box somewhere. All right, I'll go ahead and pull these out of here. So we got some of these puzzles. Now all these puzzles are open. Uh, they said they were pretty sure that they were complete uh, when they picked them up as part of a collection that they bought or something. They were uh, assured that they were actually complete, but they never actually verified that. So. Uh, they pretty much gave me these for next to nothing. Uh, but we actually have um, the uh, Pudgy Pig uh, puzzle, the 100 piece puzzle with like the glittery graphics and everything around it. I actually want to collect or try to collect all of these. Uh, on the back, there's not really anything there, so it doesn't show like all the other puzzles, but. We'll have to review these in a different video, actually put them together, see if they're all there and see what they look like assembled. But there is the Pudgy Pig puzzle. <clears throat> and I am about 100% sure that we actually have one of these already, but it was over there with the puzzles. Uh, it's one of the old Power Rangers Zeo. Um, it's like a, it's a CD-ROM. It's basically, I mean, it's a game, it's a computer game. Uh, but they had one sitting over there, so I picked it up. Like I said, they didn't really charge me much for it, but yeah, it was an old Power Ranger Zeo game for the, the PC. I can't remember if the one I have is sealed. I know it's still in the box. If they're both open, we'll just have to check out one of them one day, but if the other one's sealed, then we'll just, because it looks like this one's been opened. But we had a Power Ranger Zeo computer game. All right, got another puzzle here. This is of Megazord. Once again, this one is uh, also open, but we'll have to see one day if all the pieces are in there and check out what it looks like when it's fully assembled. But we got Megazord as well. And then there's another one in here. I think there was only three. Yep, only three. And this was of King Sphinx with a few of the uh, Dino Zords down there. All right, what else? We have a few Imaginex things that they had thrown over in the corner. So we've got Tiger Zord, the Imaginex uh, <laughs> Tiger Zord Zord here. Zord Zord. I don't know why I said that twice, but uh, did not come with a little missile or anything like that. But the White Ranger's in there somewhere. But we did get Tiger Zord. Here's White Ranger down here at the bottom. And then we also got 
uh, Black Ranger's Dino Cycle of the Macedon. We also got the Red Ranger. And it also came with a little sidecar with Yellow Ranger in there. All right, what else? Oh, here's the other nightlight. So they had Yellow Ranger. So we got two of those. And we have some of those. I don't know which ones we had. I just went ahead and grabbed both of them. But um, we got one of the little launch things. I'm pretty sure we have like two of these, but it's the Red Ranger cycle on the little launch gun. Look to be in pretty good shape. All right. So they had the little, one of the little White Ranger helmets. And I know we have two or three of these already, but. You never know which one's going to be in better shape or going back look at it and one of yours is broken so when i can get stuff for pretty much next to nothing when i know it's worth more i could potentially use it i usually pick stuff up so we actually got the white ranger helmet launcher with the white tiger zord <laughs> all right right here so this is pretty cool this is one of the little uh night lights or table lights um, plugs in lights up looks like smoke coming out from behind the red rangers dino cycle so we grabbed that picked it up i have one of these but i'm pretty sure the it's cracked here at the back somewhere so we picked this up pretty good condition i don't know if it works or not we'll have to see one day All right, we're getting close to the end. Um, they had some of the gloves. So they had, uh, and they're not in perfect condition. Of course, we have a few of these and they're not in perfect condition either. So they've got red marks all over them and stuff, but these are like the, they make noise. The Red Ranger power gloves. And then they had Black Ranger. sticking together and it's got stuff all over them. These are hard. I mean, they would have pretty much uh, had to have never been used or and kept <laughs> in a nice safe place because even if these are in good shape, this material seems to like get sticky and just collect stuff. All right, let me slide this over here. All right, we got White Ranger and Pink Ranger. So we got Pink Ranger gloves. Hers are not that bad. Uh, I got some stuff on them, but all the electronic pads and everything seem to be inside of them, and they really aren't that terrible. They'll make a nice display piece. We have a few other ones of these, but I think um, no matter how many of these I find and I buy, I think I still don't have Yellow Rangers. I'll have to go back and look, but I don't think I have any sets at all of the Mighty Morphin Yellow, like, power gloves. And last but not least, one of the little bendy figures of Green Ranger. This one was in pretty good shape. It's kind of hard to find these in really, really pristine condition, so snagged that and had them throw that in. All right, well, let me move the uh, the box away that they gave me to haul all this stuff out, but I'll throw everything back in the picture here and we'll take a look at everything that we got. So be back in just a sec. All right, so I've got everything back here uh, in the shot now that we got from that collection. At least I'm pretty sure I tend to set stuff everywhere when I'm opening new collections and boxes, but I'm pretty sure this is everything. Um, so as you can see right over here, we had those two costumes uh, very, very cool additions. We don't have really any of those, especially from back in the day, but it was really cool to find those. Um, we got the sealed space Android from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Um, and then, you know, all the other stuff, we've got the, uh, the puzzles back there, um, the night lights and the projector, some of the Imaginex stuff. Um, we've got the cool red Ranger, um, uh, nighttime lamp over there. Uh, we got the another Power Blaster, the Power Rangers Zeo computer game, uh, the Fair 
Um, I mean, if that's what you want to call them, I call them fair pictures, but we got the white ranger and all the rangers with white ranger of the fair pictures. We got the dinged up box back there of Mast Rider, Cyclopters, uh, motorcycle, and just a lot of other really cool little odds and ends. Um, now, eventually, uh, we'll go through and make videos of all this stuff, look at it individually and things like that. But I just wanted to share with you guys all the stuff that we just got from that cool shop that we went into. I'm sure some of you had this stuff when uh, you were a kid or you can remember some of these cool little odds and end items that uh, they released for Power Rangers. But I hope you all enjoyed the video and until next time everybody, I'll see you next video.